Red Bull is without a shadow of a doubt the best team in Formula 1 at this moment in time and has been for the past two seasons now. In 2022, they dominated with Verstappen taking home a record-breaking 15 wins out of the 22 races, which was unbelievable to watch. 2023 seems like it'll be another year of Verstappen and Red Bull winning races, but there could be a twist which could massively hurt the team morale and points. That is the relationship between Max Verstappen and Sir Sergio Perez after what happened in the penultimate race of the season in Brazil and all of the drama that came out of it. It doesn't seem to have affected them that much this season in the first three races, but it is clear to everyone that there is some tension between both drivers and also in the team. If one driver was to leave the team due to this tension, it of course would be Perez as Verstappen is Red Bull's number one man and he will not be sacked and that is for certain. There is a driver that is very popular and everyone loves who was very quick and beat Verstappen on several occasions, and that is Daniel Ricciardo, who is their third driver this season. Many people are thinking that if the tension boils over too much between both Red Bull drivers, Ricciardo could partner with Verstappen in the very near future. In today's video, we will touch upon the tension between Max and Sergio and what could happen with Perez if he is released from his contract early, how Daniel falls into this and how Max and himself may race against each other. And we will also talk about how Max Verstappen could go anywhere in the future. Let's get right into it. The tension between Perez and Verstappen all started because Max would not give the position back to Sergio when it then came out that Max was annoyed at Perez because he thought he crashed on purpose in Monaco. So this was his way of getting some sort of revenge on track. The two apparently squashed the beef regarding this issue, but ever since, the relationship between the two has not been quite the same. Perez clearly wants to prove to the team that he deserves his seat and he wants to win the world championship and he will not just help Verstappen win a championship. In Saudi Arabia, Perez felt like the team was telling him to lower his pace so that Max could catch him and win the race. But Perez pushed on and won the race from pole position. Verstappen will always get the benefit of the doubt and if a driver like Perez does do something silly on the track which costs Max, he will most likely be given the full blame and possibly sacked. There's a lot of talks amongst the paddock and fans that Perez could possibly lose his seat at the end of the season for it and to be given to a certain Australian. If this is the case, there is not many options for Perez to go to right now as so many teams have drivers in long-term contracts at the top of the grid. The only real option for Checo would be for him to drop to a midfield team and help them bet just like what did in 2022 with Alfa Romeo, or worse, he could retire if he's shown the exit come the end of this season. Perez is a top driver, that's for sure, but he is not getting any younger. But he is still a top driver, and any team in the midfield would be happy to take him. Or if he can get a seat in a top team, he will more than deserve it. His contract ends at the end of the 2024 season with Red Bull. It is hard to predict if he will fulfill his contract, get an extension, or have it terminated early. It all just depends on how the tension between himself and Verstappen gets throughout this season. Where do you think Perez will be next season? Will it be at Red Bull or will he be replaced and fall down into a midfield team for the rest of his career? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Next up, we're going to discuss what exactly Red Bull's plans with Daniel Ricciardo could exactly be for this season and beyond. We know that the Australian is the team's third driver and will be working in the factory and will be on track in case he has to step in for Verstappen on Perez for whatever reason that shall be. He was without a seat for 2023 and decided that this would be his best option going forward by taking a year out, but also still somewhat being in and around the sport. Red Bull is the team where Daniel really showed everyone how good of a driver he really was winning many races for the team in a car that was not always the quickest on the grid. Daniel is still a very talented driver, that's for certain and many people are calling for him to be in the Red Bull seat alongside Verstappen if the tension between him and Perez increases. Ricardo has a good relationship with Verstappen off the track, which means that the tension will not be as high and they will both know what they are in the team to do. Daniel will respect Max and Max will respect Daniel, which would work better on the track as they will help push the team in the right direction to win more and more championships in this particular era. It's far from a guarantee that Ricardo will get that second 
Red Bull seat, but it does make a good amount of sense for him to be the short-term replacement, whilst Red Bull wait for another driver like Lando Norris to have his contract end with McLaren. However, one thing that has to be said about Daniel Ricciardo, and that is what he really deserves, to have a seat in the quickest car on the grid. His two years at McLaren were awful, if we're being honest, and he only showed once how good of a driver he was, and that was his win in Monza in 2021. Other than that, he was dominated by his teammate Lando Norris, who is another contender for the Red Bull seat if and when Perez leaves the team. Would it make much sense for Daniel to get a seat over a driver who he was dominated for by two, four seasons? Just to make the fans happy to see the Australian back in a Red Bull. It is a hard call to make and there will be questions asked about how Daniel races Max as they did come together on several occasions. You look at Baku in 2018, for example. There is a possibility that they come together on a track unlike what Perez and Max have done so far. So it's a tough call for Red Bull to make. It all depends on how the tension between Perez and Verstappen plays out in the coming races. Who do you think will be partnering with Max Verstappen for the 2024 season? Will it be his current teammate Sergio Perez or will it be his former teammate and best friend Daniel Ricciardo? It's a hard one to call for us, but do let us know who you think will take that second spot in the fastest car on the grid this year. Before we end this video, we will touch upon what the future of Max Verstappen may possibly look like and how the rest of his career will play out. He has a long-term contract with his current team Red Bull and he seems like he will not leave the team anytime soon but it all depends on the car. For the rest of this new era of Formula 1 if Red Bull are able to dominate and have the quickest car like Mercedes did for all those years there is a low chance that Max will go anywhere at all but if the car falls down the order will Max look elsewhere? He will not go to Mercedes that's for sure but you can't count it out we have seen weirder things happen in the sport. Ferrari and Aston Martin would be the other two teams if they are able to be fighting at the top of the grid in the very near future. However, Max has made some interesting comments regarding how long he will be in Formula 1. Of course, Max, if he continues doing what he's doing now, he could break almost every record in Formula 1. But from some comments, it may seem like he will not be here as long as people will think. It will be something to keep an eye out on. That's for certain. Thank you all so much for watching this video and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one.